dead yet. Not dead yet. Oh! oh okay. Square, 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 square. Yeah! <laughs> That's a really pretty tree. It's spring. show tonight at our grad bar. It's part of a group called Disco Cactus. Good music, a lot of awesome friends. It's gonna be a good time. But first, food. I'm gonna go meet up with the founders of Disco Cactus for a little bit so they can tell you more about the group. Move a little closer to Sam. Perfect. <laughs> yeah, it's great. Yeah. So I'm Doug. I'm one of the founding members of Disco Cactus. I play vibes in the group, do a little bit of arranging as well, and I like to call myself artistic director, but nobody else calls me that. I just call me that. And I'm Sam Bobinski. I'm the, the double bass player. I have written some arrangements myself for the group. I like to call myself the logistics director. I've been scheduling things. And Disco Cactus has its earliest roots, perhaps, in my first year of grad school at Yale. I started playing with a bunch of other renegade music students who didn't want to play classical music all the time. We started making these arrangements of like, at first it was like pop tunes or like techno tunes. Eventually, we started making arrangements of game music sort of on the side. I think Disco Cactus really actually started started when I took a bunch of these guys to MAGFest. It was myself, Ben, Mateus Souza, who's our violinist, and uh, Sam Suggs. And we started playing in the hallway. We just kind of set up our instruments and started jamming on tunes we knew. And uh, people came up to us and they would ask, well, who are you guys? And we were just like, we're uh, a disco cactus. Um, and then that caught on. So therefore, it was a combination of us, you know, those of us from Yale being interested in other types of music aside from classical music, but still being classical musicians and really liking video game music, wanting to take more like rock and funk and jazz elements into our performance style. I like to describe it as like classically inspired funk music. It draws from a lot of our influences, like from our classical backgrounds, our influences in jazz and rock and all and similar styles like that. We try to incorporate a bit of everything into our music and our arrangements. Uh, sometimes we stick to one style. If we play something with bends, of course, it's all over the place and does a million things. That's part of that's part of what we do. It's part part of why we enjoy it. With some of the arrangements that you do, is most of it improvised or is it written out as it is in classical music? It's a little bit of both. So some arrangements will be completely written out and there's actually so much room for improvisation. Other arrangements may just be a lead sheet with like specific instructions. You know, you come in here and play something like this and then we just leave it up to the player and trust in their intuition and instincts that they'll play something cool. One tune that I would really love to arrange for Disco Cactus and perform at some point is actually not from a video game, but it's from something tangentially related in sort of nerd culture, nerd pop culture, and the Stronger Than You from Steven Universe, which is a cartoon with music composed by two huge video game nerds that I know from MAGFest. And they wrote this tune that I think would make a great like Tower of Pepper style funk tune that I'd love to bring to the group at some point. I have been like sitting on this idea for a little bit of, uh, we played, I did an arrangement of a tune from this game called Gunstar Heroes. It was an old, um, Sega game, it was like, it developed a bit of a cult following and the music is really cool. So like one of the things I've been dying to do 
is get the band involved in like a whole bunch of like brass instruments and see if we could do like a long like suite of pieces from Gunstar Heroes with like a bigger band. Just finished our concert with Disco Cactus and now I'm on my way to go get some food. The concert went really well, a uh, small crowd at the beginning, but the more we played the more people showed up and we had a really good turnout. Make sure that you check Disco Cactus on Facebook and Twitter or check out the links below. Yo, Chalice concert today! So if you remembered from the first vlog a couple weeks ago, I said that I was part of a group called Yale Cellos. It's all 14 cellos here at the Yale School of Music. Uh, it's a cello ensemble and we rehearse every Monday. Today is finally the concert day for that group. It's a once a year concert and we have a bunch of music set up for it. So it should be fun. Let's go. 